All right, everybody. Hello, welcome to another modern stream. We're going to be playing some Amulet today because it's Amulet Monday, and it's time for for a fatherly stream. We're going to be playing some matches with uh, the good old Karn Father. Uh, this is if you if if you don't know, this is probably my favorite way of playing Amulet. I am a big big fan of Karn the Great Creator. I think that it adds a lot to the to the deck not only in terms of power level and options, but also in terms of deck building. So, um, as, as, as well as in in-game play patterns, I think Karn adds a lot to the deck and it I, I just really, really enjoy playing with the card, Karn the Great Creator. Um, and of course, the new, the new kid in the block is an old kid in the block, which is uh, Ursa Saga. So we're gonna be trying out Ursa Saga uh, in the context of a carnivore creator build. So we're gonna see how everything lines up together. List is pretty straightforward. It is, uh, the mana base is kind of what you would have, you would have come to expect with the addition of Saga. Then, um, oh, I guess that I should note the fact that um, there's no Yabimaya. I, I just have not been impressed with that card. I don't think it did. Um, I just don't think it passed the threshold of basic forest, which it's pretty pretty high um, Which is something that I always say when people suggest stuff like Academy Ruins Why are you not playing Academy Ruins in your amulet deck? It's just like, you know, the, the, the question you should always answer is Is it better than basic forest? The answer the vast majority of the time is gonna be no So um, we're playing the basic forest instead of Yabimaya. So that's one thing that that I, I just have not been happy with, so I just decided to cut it. Um, it's been great in, in Titania Reclaimer decks, but it, it has not been very good here. And then, uh, besides that, the only other thing that I'm doing here is I'm playing a one-off copy of Expedition Map. Uh, this actually has been working out really well for me. Uh, I, I've heard people th saying that this card is just uh, not worth it very, very often, but I have been very, very impressive, and the play pattern of... Um, against control decks or stuff like that, you know, using your Saga to get a couple of tokens and then Saga goes and fetches Expedition Map and Expedition Maps goes and fetches another Saga. So like the Sagas chaining together has come up a lot. Expedition Map to go get Cavern of Souls has come up a lot for me. So I think that uh, that the, the one of map, uh, I, I do believe it to be worth it. Uh, the sideboard has a couple of dismember, Foundation Breaker, strictly better Rex Age, so now we just have to play with this one, uh, with this guy instead of Rex Age. Uh, Force of Vigor, mostly because, well, Saga decks are everywhere, and Force of Vigor is pretty good against Saga decks. Bojuki Ball and Ghost Water, which are the utility lands that I didn't have room for in the main deck. And then Tormod Script, Double Needle, Liquid Metal Coating, Golos. I, I, I said that I'm never going to be playing Golos. Uh, it, 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 and I'm never going to be playing any Karn deck without Golos in my sideboard. And this ev this is even more true now that we have access to Ursa Saga. Like, just Golos going and getting Ursa Saga seems, like, ri ridiculous to me. Even if you have no Dryad, even if you have no Primeval Titan, it just doesn't matter. You just go get Golos, Golos finds your Ursa Saga, you're good to go. You're good to go, right then and there. Couple of Explosives and Walking Ballista. So you're gonna notice that I'm playing a couple of needles. Uh, the reason for this is uh, experimental. I've seen um, Levi, um, Leviathan on MTGO, I think, um, and and he's been playing a couple of this. Uh, the reason it makes sense to me because uh, you know needle is very very good right now, and um, you can have one copy in your main deck so you can go get with Ursa Saga, and you can have one copy in your sideboard so you can get with Karn. So it's interesting. It's two sideboard slots which is a lot, so I'm gonna be trying it out. I'm, I'm not sold on it just yet, but you know, the only way to figure out whether I like it or not is just, you know, fire off a league and try things out. So that's what we're gonna be doing. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you there for round number one. All right, welcome to round number one. Uh, yes, please. Yes, please. So we're gonna go turn one Gracer into Saga. Then turn two Saga activate. What lands are we missing? I don't know. You can look him up. <laughs> you can see the full deck list. 
Um, so if I play Saga here, next turn I get an amulet. I'm going to have three mana, four, five, six. Uh, that sounds like Titan mana to me, folks. That does sound like Titan mana to me. Over, under, an amount of time someone has his kind is better than no kind. The response is, I don't know yet. Um, it's a good question. Is Karn better than no Karn? I swear, I don't know. I am not withholding information. I swear that I just don't know. There's a bounce land. Here's a gracer. Here's another bounce land. I think I want to bounce the saga so I can reset it. Probably won't matter. One and has seen enough. Imagine not having the answer for your loyal rules, right? I know, right? Especially with all the shit that I'm I'm dealing with IRL, and obviously I need to have my answers right away. Yeah, and it, it feels bad, man. Like it really feels bad. Like um, somebody in 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 my Discord was asking for a cyborg guy, and I'm just like. don't know if I can write to Cyborg God. Like, the time commitment is huge. I really have a ton of other shit going on right now in my life. And it's just, I'm gonna be writing a Cyborg Guide. We're gonna have like a week, maybe two. Saga may get banned. And also like, what the fuck is the meta right now? <laughs> Because that's another thing, like, let's say, how can I write a cyber guide? Like, which decks do I put in the cyber guide? <laughs> like, I have not played against Heliod in a really, really long time. I have not played against Prowess in a really, really long time. It's just like, what what am I supposed to do? Like, how can I write a, how can I write a cyber guide when it just... I, I can't, like I literally cannot, like even, even if I wanted to, even if I had the time, it's still like, what Like what am I supposed to ride the guide with? So, all of this is fine, I don't care about any of these. Shimmer is your duty to write a guide, I guess. Uh, bunch of numbers, thank you for the follow. We're not in good shape here. This is really awkward. Like, I'm gonna play a Dryad, but like, on the turn that I want to hold up this member, I'm not gonna be able to. Unless I find either an amulet or... That's really funny. Um, oh, I think I messed up there. I think I had to dismember the dry area yeah, because now my opponent's going to get to cord. Uh, no one tap land. Shoot. <sighs> yeah. Unless they're recording for two, which is not that bad like i'm probably gonna get um what's his name um the wall
Um, do I just have to do this right now? Maybe I should just kill the Dryad. I think I have to kill this. And then I draw a land. One, two, three, four. If I draw any untapped land, I think I can maybe be okay. Unless I just die right now, which is also a possibility. But I can pack for Grazer. Okay. Okay. So now I can either kill the Yogg. My opponent can sack one, two, three, four. I don't really think I have an option though. Now the question is, do I try to kill Yogg or do I try to kill both of these? I think I just have to kill the Yogg. If I know gifting to one sub to the Karn Father, hey, hey, the Karn Father is watching right now. What an honor! What an honor for the Karn Father to be watching. We're going super low in life. So we're gonna have to pay for upkeep, one, two, three, four. We're gonna have only two mana to work with. I think we're dead. Particularly because my opponent is gonna have drawn many, many cards. Yeah, we're just dead. Gonna have maximum three mana. So I guess that we can still top deck exactly Dryad. Because my opponent. Um, oh, I guess I'm just Dobbs. D duh. <laughs> Never mind. Mm, this is fine. Do I fear an amulet ban? No, I, I don't. I do not. There's so, so, so much shit they need to be to ban before they ban this. So much shit they will need to ban before they ban this. Um, do you have permission time out? Nah, I mean, people, people, I guess, want to know. It's fine. Uh huh. Is that sick? I think that's sick, chat. I think that is sick. Hey, it turns out it was sick. <laughs> Ooh. 
One lander, you say, huh? One lander, you say, huh? One lander, you say. Gonna start spitting out dudes. Probably fair to call this one. Carney's so much fun. Cause this is fun, right? Are you having fun, chat? I'm having fun. Look, construct. Is that a force? <laughs> Core for arbor, okay. Oh, we can't we can't kill this. That's hilarious. Alright. We can kill that one though. Carnegating. Indeed. We're gonna see a good old chump attack Arino. Only to bring Karn's loyalty to what like three at worst? At best. Honestly, I kind of feel for my opponent because like this is like this is not great fun, I have to say. Like this is this is not like they're not having an awesome time over there. I'll tell you that much. Um, the good thing is that we just get to end the game right now because we drew a Susa. Been listening to Haken lately, dude. Haken just it's awesome. Also, winning this match is awesome. See you for the next one. All right. What are we doing here? We have two draw steps towards the bounce land. Ursa Saga also means a bounce land. Okay. Do I miss the 10th bounce land on the list? I have no idea. I played exactly one match with this list. One. Okay. I was gonna go turn one grazer, but now that, you know, an amulet popped to the top of my deck, makes me wonder. No bubbles, huge. But opponent's playing a Blood Moon deck, so we're probably not in good shape. There are times where it's correct to forego making constructive play tight faster. I want to say yes, but only played a few matches. Of course, there is. I literally, it just happened in that match that I just played. Soul Scar, Faithless, Salvaging. Oh, this is the Mono Red. This is the Spike deck, I guess. Um, ah, we're short. Do 
This is three, this is two, but it costs me one. So it's the same as playing the land right now, and then I'm gonna have five mana next turn. So I guess... I'm just gonna do this. We don't have double blue with Vestige, so I cannot hold on to this to trans for, for transmuting purposes. I'm just gonna need to draw any ETB tapped land, and then we win on the spot. I'm at 18. I don't know if my opponent can kill me from here. They may be able to. Prowess is a messed up mechanic. ETV tapped in green. Yeah, that's that's actually true. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're right. It needs to be a green ETV tapped land. Please, bounce land. Why don't I play the Saturday Sun and Challenges? Because I have a life. Yeah, Carney for one is what I'm thinking, but I'm, I still can't crack it, so we're still in the same spot. I'm still dead. Oh! That's right! Oh my god. Sick. I totally forgot about this. Yeah. <laughs> Gracer makes the forest enter tapped. That's suck. Uh, that, that, that's just so sick. Sicko, 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 Gracer confirmed OP. Wow. LFG. Nimble Mongoose with the Prime Sub. Welcome to the Prime Dead Stronghold for the fourth month in a row. Appreciate the support. Honestly, double amulet. Double amulet is just... Do saga because you know value. Yeah, this I learned this one the, the hard way. Like you actually need to put the the saga trigger on the stack first. <laughs> I fucked that one up already. Um fucked that one up already, so <laughs> Yeah, this is exactly what I had in mind, Richard Garfield, probably. I mean, I don't see how anybody cannot want this, you know what I'm saying? Like, how can, every, how can anybody ever not want exactly what just happened? Like, it just feels crazy to me to not want that. So, okay, so these are the cards that I like. 
Now we have to figure out the cards that I can actually afford to play. Hey, Larry. I'm really not a promoter right now. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Nothing to see here. Moving on. Please move along. There's nothing to see here. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. I'm still trying to figure out what this thing is. I, are are these the arms? And like these are the eyes and it's walking towards, you know, in that direction. I think that's what it is. It has like cities in his arms, like buildings. This doesn't do anything. We also have to play around Blood Moon in these post board games, which is really, really awkward out of uh, such aggressive decks. I hate playing against Blood Moon out of. Ugh. Okay, keep this. Send Valak is we're gonna need we're gonna need the double green. Another amulet? That would be awesome. Another another amulet. All right, I am definitely getting mooned here, aren't I? We are very, very much getting mooned. Can I afford to play around Bloodman though? I think I can't. Like I, I'm, I'm just not beating Blood Moon. So because I'm not beating Blood Moon, I think that I need to do this, and then this pops. I get uh, Amulet, and I just tighten them and kill them. So I'm giving my opponent a one turn window to resolve the Blood Moon. Yeah, you can you can generate income through MTGO. That's why I play MTGO, and that's why I don't understand people who play Arena. Like for me personally, it's it's extremely extremely hard to justify ever playing Arena, unless I'm playing for fun. If I'm playing for fun and I'm just you know like just messing around, then it's whatever. But like for for streaming purposes or something like that, like I just don't understand Arena. Because you're making, like, you, you can make money from the stream, and then at the same time, you're just making ma money through MTGO. So, like, you're just kind of doubling your income in a way. Um, zing! Here's Johnny. Um, let's do this. Let's close the chamber. 
it's kind of cool how like you were always going for double titan like you just you just never not going for double titan because like it's free you just get to do it so why would you not do it right Summon respect play castle pact for prime time cast prime time garrison stronghold sorry that i'm not paying attention to the to the subs but i'm just you know just taking care of business over here just doing some paperwork just just out here just doing some paperwork uh, let's bounce this combat attack yes here's the valakut and i guess here's the suva here's a ton of damage obviously I'm gonna be killing my opponent's creatures <laughs> what do you think i am a monster you think I'm not gonna kill my opponent's creatures? <laughs> What's wrong with you, Chad? Like, for real? Who do you think I am? Just... <sighs> How could you ever think that I was not gonna kill my opponent's dudes? Um, didn't I say auto targets? No. Opponents playing to is accidentally skip the attack step out. Um, well, I mean, I'm already in attack step. <laughs> so, um, I can't skip it when I'm already there, you know? Anyway, 2 0. Alrighty. Playing against Umori. Um, what the hell is Umori? Enchantress? It has to be Enchantress, right? Actually, Expedition Map is kind of sick here. I think I'm keeping this in because we can go. Turn one, map. Turn two, crack map on end step, go get Saga. Turn three, Dryad plus Bounce. And then on the following turn, we just win. No, Kanda, you seem to be able to play one line of turn. Let me help you. <laughs> I assume I have Titan in paper. Am I buying sagas? I have Titan in paper and I'm not buying sagas. I'm moving to Texas. No, I'm not moving to Texas. I lived in Texas and I don't think I ever want to live in Texas again. Not a bad draw. Not a bad draw. So now we get to Dryad. Streamer house with spike. <laughs> Would it be wrong to play elves without winding away or cover? Yeah, hundred percent. No, this just has to be enchantress. Like it's the only thing that I can think of that can play this thing. You were there for like three months. It wasn't that bad. I was there for five months, and it was that bad. That's the that's the whole point. <laughs> Not buying sagas because you expect the banner because you don't play enough paper to justify the purchase. Um, a little bit of both. Like I'm, I'm not spending that much money to play at FNM. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely not spending that much money to play at FNM. And if I am ever doing that, it's because um, like there's an event. So if there's if there are no events, then I just don't really have a reason to buy sagas. So I'm just not gonna waste my money. So if they're playing main deck Blood Moon, this could be a problem. They are playing main deck Blood Moon, and this is going to be a problem. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, maybe we can go get basic forest. And we have Karn, so it's not the end of the world. Is there anything I'm transmuting for? I mean, I have Titan mana already, so I'm just gonna transmute for for another summer aspect. Well, we can actually win this. We can actually just win this straight up. What's up, Lex? Good old six mana, six six. I mean, we have an emote for that. We do have an emote here, and Twitch is lagging. Well, fortunately for me, I remember that. The Maw. <laughs> the Maw. <laughs> so colossal. Svon Mart, thank you for the follow. So colossal. The Colossalest of Moss. That doesn't do anything. Get in there, Dryad. Fact, prime time. We just have to find Karn. If we are if we find Karn, we're gonna be fine, but And the map was important in this match. The map was huge. The map was huge. Okay. There's an enchantress. Or a man, see, that's fine. Put a more in hand. So if we find Karn, I think we may just straight up win. Karn? No Karn. Just get a couple of sagas. Get some sagas, send them straight to the garbage can. I think I'm... Am I holding here? They block, they block. We don't have lethal yet. I think I have to play this out actually. Awkward. Oh, is somebody working outside? Hold it right to spare after eat. But I'm not setting up lethal, my opponent could just block. That's the problem. That's what made me. That's what made me play the dryad. That's what I was thinking of. Like I was thinking of holding the dryad to, to just deploy after explosives. But this thing gains life, which puts me in sort of an awkward spot. Um. Target land you control becomes an XX elemental creature. The trample and anyway, stamina of enchantments you control is still a land. One, two, three. Four, five, six. That sucks. Well, I'm sending. We know that. Dan Francisco with the tier one sub, 28 months. Over two years. Thank you so much, Dan. Really, really appreciate the continued support. Karn, where are you? You wanna come out and play Karn? Karn. Two, three, four, five, six, one, two. Yeah, they can't. They can only activate. One. Yeah, my opponent fucked up. They should have tapped this to play the Destiny Spinner. Do we have any way to shoot for Karn? No. Just gotta naturally draw it.
castles. Pass the turn. This card kind of slaps, actually. Can't be countered. And then he turns lands into stuff, and it's just like a 2-mana two 2-3. Two, like, this card is it's, it's quite good. Karn, please. Karn, Karn, Karn stole Garabrig. It's not the same. So I can't attack anymore. Because then, otherwise, like my Karn just is not enough, even. This is falling apart. I hate this card. Why can't I attack? Because my opponent makes a big dude. Like they make it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just chomp attacking. How do you resub with Twitch Prime? I think you need to go. I don't think you can do that on the on the phone. You need to do it on the on in the internet app. But you just go to like below the channel. There should be a thingy that says subscribe. Just go there. Oh, uh, this one. Four mana, target land you control becomes an XX elemental creature with trample and haste until the turn where X is the number of enchantments you control. It is still a land. Still win if we find Karn. Still win if we find Karn. Uh, no, I need explosives. We explosives for two. And then we start attacking. And then on the following turn, we explosives for three. But one card just finds both explosives. So what we're going to be doing now, we're going to be doing this over two turns. Because I'm not, if I, if I expose them three, then I'm, 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 I, my dryads die. But I think it's very important to, you know, make sure that I can attack through. So I'm going to need to expose for two first. Karn! <laughs> I can't, I draw a Karn. Well, I, I mean, just, just want to draw a Karn. That's, that's all, that, that, that's it. That's all I need. That's all I want. Uh, maybe I should have packed it for another Titan. Um, yeah, that might have been a mistake. Yeah, I should have packed it for a Titan. Just casual tap for 16. <laughs> no big. No EE in the main. Yes, there's an explosive in the main, but I think that losing the game is a significantly higher EV play because 
uh, by losing the game and transmitting for this instead of an explosives, I can then get to play another game and be down a game instead of being up a game. So I think that that's, uh, that's, a, that's a big deal. I think that's very, very important for us to do. Was that too much? <laughs> Was, was that too much? Is that the sarcasm too 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 much? Uh, block there. So I'm only going to have two colors of mana now, but I can pack for a, for a dry if I need to. Yeah. No, but I don't. Th explosion on three, it's not the it's not the out, right? Like explosion on two is the out. If I ee for two, I just blow up everything that matters besides the blood moon, and I can explosives again next turn. Oh no, because I go to one. Yeah, I well, I should have I should have trampled with Titan. Whoops. Oh, this trample. Oh, I, I was super dead then. I didn't know that this trampled. This card is insane. We trample and haste. Oh. No, we, we were dead. Like there was, there was, there were actually no odds there. Crazy, crazy. This doesn't stop mana production, so that sucks. <laughs> Damn it. Greatest Gracer. I mean, they're not playing the age, they just moaned me. That's just. My Achilles heel! Oh no! My Achilles heel, they got me. It drew four castles of cities in the prelims yesterday. That's sick. That is awesome. I'm gonna turn one this saga. Is card versus versus better versus three versus meta? I literally have no idea. My idea is to try to for the saga to pop before my opponent moons me. Oh no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Please don't do it. No. <laughs> F. Yep. Bye bye. Okay, we have Karn, and I'm great. We got Karn, so this is this is not over. This is not over. In fact, we are probably in better, better shape than we were last game. My opponent is limited to exactly one white source turn. Never mind. Second Karn. Okay, opponent does not have pressure though, and they have no ways of drawing cards. Can still do stuff here. We can still do stuff. We can also pack for Foundation Breaker if we need to. Uh oh. Damn it. Uh, 
I was punished by playing the Saga on one because my opponent played the Moon on one. On three, on two, sorry. But my idea was precisely to use the Saga to go get Expedition Map so I could guarantee the forest. So I think my, my play was still correct, even if it obviously did not pan out. I do think that my play was still correct. Um... Here we go, those. Ballista is also interesting, but the issue with Ballista is if my opponent top decks, what's his name? We're in real trouble. The thing that gives everything. I can just get explosives. Let's uh, just get explosives. My opponent's draw was insane. <laughs> My opponent's draw was completely absurd. They went turn to moon into this. <laughs> Cracking Sterling Grove with the Eidolon trigger on the stack. That's pretty sick. Stony Silence. Huh. Okay. Dude, 16 cards in hand. <laughs> this matchup is not awful. My opponent turned to moon me. <laughs> matchup is fine. Like I would have won game one, like a million, I, I had like, 15 turns to draw a card and I never found a single card at any point I find a card I win the game like this matchup is not terrible just like my opponent's draws were very very above average Vampire Diaries thank you so much for the 18 months welcome back with the prime sub this matchup does not seem awful to me but yeah like when literally everything lines up in the in the best possible way yes like obviously the matchup doesn't look so good guess i should have gotten gallows Bloodmoon with Shroud is, is rough. Yep, got me. All right, see you for the next round. That was very impressive. That was really, really impressive.
All right, welcome to another round. This hand is great, so we're gonna keep it. That's so much swag this stream. Oh, I, we, I was dropping frames. Oh, that sucks. I wonder what Svenny is playing nowadays. The allocations for all stars. Oh, all of them were these? Oh, okay. I thought that they were, we were supposed to... I haven't opened them. I was thinking about opening them on stream. Um, well, I mean, I'm just gonna play this triad here mostly because I... Uh, I, guess, I guess I could transmute for Cavern. Yeah, let's actually do that. There's no reason for me to play into the counter spell. Oh, we're getting mooned. Well, fuck me, I guess. frame sexy sexy but yeah definitely gonna be showing the that's nice so let's name dry it here So we might get kiki out of the game, which would suck, but... Not all frame, correct frame. Facts. Let me see if I can find my my actual deck. Now it also comes with like a bazillion tokens. I have like seven million random tokens all over the place. Um, yeah, I think I just mixed everything up. Oh no, here it is. Blast zone. Okay. Name giant. Two, four, six. Put in Paxson. Sweet. Could you have played a bounce in case they killed Dryad? Yes, but uh, if they kill Dryad, first of all, I don't think it's going to be easy for them to kill Dryad. Second of all, uh, we're still fine. Because if they use the mana to kill Dryad, then they can't use the mana to, to answer the Titan. The problem now is that I don't know how to sideboard against this deck, because I don't know, like, if they're playing Breach, sideboarding would be significantly different than if they're playing Kiki. I'm, I'm assuming they're playing Kiki. I'm assuming they're playing Kiki, but they may be playing Breach, and I just have two dead dismembers in my deck. Hmm. 
I'm keeping this. This may not be good enough, though. My opponent fetched for basics very aggressively last game. So I'm just going to fetch for my basic fours right now. Wrong art opt. That's cool. Have wrong other explorers. I agree to disagree, Keto. Snapcaster for no value. Why no Karn there? My opponent's holding up two mana. They have Counterspell. I might, I'd much rather they play a 2-1 that doesn't do anything. And now I get to play a Karn when my opponent steps out. Um, how about we play a Dryad and the Karn? Por que no los dos, right? Por que no los dos, am I right? When I was thinking for line with that cycle, yeah, I'm aware. I'm aware. Enough. Sweet. See you for the last round. Last round. Definitely keeping this. Playing against the lower stick. Bubble. Wonder what we're up against. I'm not gonna be playing around stub if they have stub. That sucks, but I can't play around stub because I want to play these on two. Looks like somebody's stopping out. Oh, that card is so bad. That card seems heinous. Yikes. It's cool that my opponent is trying things out, of course, but yikes. It kind of feels like they should have totally attacked there, though. Mm. Mm, this is rough. Think about the follow, Shaman. I can pack for Titan. Or I can transmute for Cavern. I 
I think I just have to jam. They could have counterspell though, and it would be brutal. And they do. Yep. That sucks. Can we please punish here? Titan. Azusa. Three. Azusa. Oh, we're short. I think I'm just going to attack now. I want them to tap out and pressuring them is going to enable uh, it's going to force them to tap out eventually unless they have like shadow or something it's pretty funny that this uh, T West is just it's just discard proof <laughs> which is awesome I'm not feeling this card. This card does is, is not seem very good. They're dead next turn, so they're gonna need to do something. Is this is Gorge. Is that good enough? Yes, it is. Sweet. <clears throat> hey, Flesh Panda, thank you for the prime sub. Welcome back for the fourth month. Playing Olgari Food yet? Uh, no, I have not. I've watched a lot of Doom Wake playing that deck. Seems, uh, seems quite good. I like it. Definitely, definitely like it. Dismembers? I think on the draw I do not want explosives. On the play I think I do. On the play I think I do want explosives, but not on the draw. Small list original purpose of being in a non-rotating format. Uh, I mean, it kind of feels like it rotates every new set that comes out, so. Kind of in a roundabout way. Sienna just doesn't do anything. 
See, it also doesn't do anything, but this one has potential to do a lot. So just gonna need to find the bounce land. Got me. Has to become a firm that constantly changes in order for the more high success to make money. Yeah, I mean, they could just make a bunch of reprints. That would also be a really easy way for them to make to make money with the Horizon decks, the Horizon um, sets. Them taking my amulets there is like if you can't pressure me. I don't know if you should be taking my amulets. And if you were gonna do that, then you should have one hundred percent done that uh, on my upkeep. I th on on uh, their turn before they thought sees me, so they had more information on the thought sees. So, a couple of um, sequencing mistakes from my opponent there. I'm copying that for uh, this member and for transmute purposes. Turn into breeding pool. It's an option, but I kind of don't want to take damage. Like I don't want to fetch if I can avoid it. So they're gonna put lowers in here now. Oh, okay, green source. They have counter spell. Gust. Okay. No way to grow the shadow is good for us, but like we're still, yeah, we're still not in good shape here, obviously. They don't have this member because otherwise they would, they should have dismembered their own shadow on end step. And then I guess that it's not lethal, we go to one, so probably doesn't change the clock, so maybe fine. So my opponent's leaving the shadow life. Let's do that. Enjoying the format, the impact uh, MH you had on the format. Uh, it's been good. I'm just like really tired of having to spend so much money all the time. So like, I'm just like, I'm not gonna buy yours of Saga. I've been borrowing them over and over again. Um, I'm probably not gonna buy Saga on paper unless, I don't know, like the Invitational comes back or something. And maybe even then I, I may just try to borrow them. Like I'm just, I'm just kind of growing exhausted of having to spend money constantly on Silly Bang, 16th thing of the follow. Um, that's the part that I'm kind of, you know, kind of over it, honestly. What's up, Siri? 
Congrats on the top eight. The challenge. Been on vacation. I have not seen nothing since MH2. This is the first thing I watched, but I've already read about banning things in modern. What can you tell me about that? I'm not gonna talk about bans. <laughs> Sorry. There are some topics that is just. It's way too exhausting and it's way so pointless. Like if it, if it weren't a combination of both, I would be kind I would be just okay talking about bands. But it's just all the time and it's just such a bad topic. <laughs> it's just such a bad topic to talk about because it just doesn't matter. <laughs> It literally does not matter whatsoever. That like we can talk about bands for the longest time and it won't make any difference. Like the cars that are legal are gonna continue to be legal and if they ban something, they're gonna ban something regardless of whether we talk about it or not. So the fact that it's so so pointless is is really what truly exhausts me. Also, this card is insane. I think this is really, really good. Have I tried the Yasharn in the board? Uh, I don't know why I would want to play Yasharn. Why would I want to play Yasharn? I wanted to listen to an opinion. Yeah, but it just, I and nothing that I can say makes any difference. Like it just, it's just a worthless discussion to have. Seemed okay versus food. Uh, I played against food once and I beat them kind of fine. Like, Yashan is really hard to cast for this deck. It's not like, oh yeah, we just, let's just jam Yashan and we're like, everything's gonna be fine. It's just like, that's just not it at all. Seal of removal. Wow. Digging deep to make to make that delirium happen, huh? Well, you balance my dude, and he's back. It's right here. So how we have a main Kabiri and a Saibod Yasharn. Seems like way overdoing it. Like it's it sounds smart to me. Like it sounds like a very smart thing to do. But it seems hard to cast and I don't know, like I'm, I'm, I already feel like I'm super short on the slots. So I don't really see the... I mean, you, you would need to adapt the mana base in a way. I don't think that you can play it as is. Honestly, I don't think you can just play the mana base that I'm playing right now. You can just hope that with uh, one, two, three, four, five white sources that you're gonna be able to cast your dude reliably that's just it's not gonna happen so if you want to be doing something like that you're gonna need to to change something how is amulet in the meta i think it's very good it's just saga I mean, it's just a good shell for Saga, and, you know, Saga is the fucked up card. Like, it's the best card out of everything that was printed in Horizon, so... Yeah. Also, there is no meta, which is very, very true. There's just a bunch, bunch, bunch of decks that people are having fun playing with. Wow. <laughs> 
good old steam vents overgrown tomb so we're gonna do this that resolves that resolves eh so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass the turn I will block. No attacks. Okay. Continue playing this game. So my opponent is not using their mana, and I am not either, but I have way too much mana though. Hmm, interesting that they bolted me instead of themselves, like making the shadow a 4-4 seems very valuable for them. The good thing is that there's no reason for me to do anything here. Three, six, one, two. Just going to counter this. Am I cracking now? I think I just I just take three again. There's also the fact that I could enable my opponent's pushes if I crack, so. What's there green for? I have no idea. So there's a way that this backfires, and that way is um, that way is surgical extraction. But like this thing is actually clocking me. Like I I need to stop that. Not crack but immediate top mill to leave him. Yeah, I know. But I have I have good draws. But at this point my uh, my life total is like I would die to double bolt, right? Or like bolt snap bolt if I take those three. So like at this point I have to crack. Which puts me in an awkward spot. Mm-hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, my opponent finally blinks. Remember? I could have gotten bounce line instead of this, but this forces my opponent to dismember right now. Oh no! Ah, oh, damn it! I had to float green. Ugh, that was bad. And I'm and the worst part is I'm like, oh, I can I can still just float the green man. Like, <laughs> god damn it! Ugh, that sucks. Four. I'm fucked now. God damn it. Man, it sucks too. Oh, I had. I feel like I played that game so well. <laughs> damn it. Okay. That's frustrating. That's frustrating. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Feels bad to lose like that. Um, this list is okay. We lost to Blood Moon and we lost to Shadow. And I feel like I should have won that game against Shadow. But I was just... I, I, I don't know, I just was tricked. <laughs> I was tricked by my opponent not killing the Dryad right away. Damn it. Um, is car necessary? I don't know. I'm trying it out, man. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to tell you. Um, but the only way to try things out, the only way to see if things work out is by just trying them out. Cut one castle for another bounce land. It is an option. I don't know if it's an option that I want to take. But it, it certainly is an option. I do like 10 bounces. I feel like bounce lands get a lot better with Ursa Saga in different ways because you have more reliable access to amulet and also because you have um, more uh, you can reset your sagas using bounce lands but castle is a messed up card though castle is a really messed up card I'm gonna try another league with this uh, that's gonna be it for this one though thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next league.